Good evening all, I'm the Cockney Spaniard and welcome to my kitchen. Tonight I shall be showing you how to make a tortilla española, that is Spanish omelette to you and me. First of all we start by peeling some potatoes like so. Then you chop them up into quarters and then slice them nice and thin like so. Next step is to uh, fry broil them in uh, a pan of hot fat. What you want to do is you put more potatoes in than there is oil so they don't get brown and crispy but they get soft and fried that's how you want them but a lot of people parboil them but I don't I just go straight in check the temperature of your oil by chucking one in and see if it fizzles up that one don't so obviously it needs to be a little bit hotter okay fizzling up nicely so then we chuck the rest of them in So, okay, so now we're going to have to prepare the egg mixture to, uh, for the potatoes. I'm going to use four eggs, roughly. You want one egg per big potato. If you need more eggs, you can always sling another one in at the end of the mixture, which we'll come to later. Right, so as we can see, the potatoes are frying up nicely. Stir them around. Uh, don't let them go brown if you can help it. The odd one or two may. Um, and once you see that they're going soft, that's the time to take them out. We take them out and we pour it straight into our egg mixture. So let's take a couple out now, as so. Drain off as much fat as you can. And then we stick it straight into our egg mixture and carry on till we've got them all in there. So now we've got all the potato and the egg mix, you leave it in there for a couple of minutes to thicken up a little bit. And this is the kind of consistency that you want it like that just let it go off a little bit you add salt to taste a fair bit of salt um, have a look where my salt is right here there we've got that. you want more than a pinch you want to like, pour a lump in about that much so here we've, here we've got the little individual tortilla uh, pan or you can use a bigger one like that Depends on what you want to do, but for today, I'm going to be making a few small ones. Just a little bit of olive oil in the pan, switch it about a little bit, and then we'll fill up the pan with our mixture. There we go, we fill up the pan, pat it down a little bit, over a high heat, a couple of minutes, then turn it down, and you keep checking on it to see how firm it is. And we'll just turn it down a little bit. Now, I've been checking and prodding with my spatula and I can see that it's firm all round. So what I'm going to do next is get a plate over the top of it, flip it over and put it back into the frying pan and we do the other side. Right. So now we get the, uh, the plate over the top of the frying pan, like so. Pick up the old lot, flip it over. Then we can see we've got half and we slip it back into the frying pan like so and we continue to cook the other side I'll pat, that pat it down just to shape it and let it do its own thing Right, so the test to see if it's done on the other side, what we do is with that firmness test, you press around the middle, and if it's going firm, you'll know that it's done. We're talking about maybe, for one this size, about four minutes either side. So, we get the plate again on top, put it over, flip it, and then we have tortilla española, a Spanish omelette. What I normally do at the end is just cut a little slice out, a triangle, and plonk it on top so it just get, doesn't so it doesn't cook too much and it just sets nicely in the centre. We take let the air get to it and the heat escape. There you go, and that is a perfect tortilla española. Join me next week, same time when I think of something else to fucking cook.